This morning, students in the Trinity School District will not be attending live online instruction as the administration works on a fix after students were Zoom bombed, exposing them to racist and explicit content. But they weren't the only ones falling victim. Lindsay Ward is live this morning with the actions being taken by two local districts. What happened, Lindsay? Heather, good morning to you. Well, I will say parents trying to navigate through this new norm and having their kids do this online learning is challenging enough. And now this, it was a shock to many parents and to the school district themselves. And that's why they're saying they're doing everything they can to make sure it does not happen again. Starting today at the Trinity Area School District, teachers will be posting assignments in another location for students to re re work remotely. For now, they'll be postponing that live instruction. On Wednesday morning, the district says a security breach happened during a fifth grade cyber class and in two virtual classrooms at the high school. The district says these hackers were able to put in offensive, racial, and inappropriate comments. Plus, there are reports of a possible pornographic image. They say police are conducting a criminal investigation. In the meantime, for the Pittsburgh Public School District, inappropriate video was embedded into a link of an educational video on safe YouTube. This happened in an early childhood classroom. The link was supposed to contain a nursery rhyme. We spoke to family impacted by what happened. We've already had our discussion and it pushed us to do it. We weren't ready. I felt that that right was taken away from my daughter. But I grabbed it from her. And I looked at it, and I'm like, wait a minute. And I looked at it, and I said, oh, my God. In response, Pittsburgh Public says the safe YouTube website has been blocked indefinitely from district devices. In a letter sent to parents, Dr. Anthony Hamlet said, even as educators, we are still learning ourselves and vow to continually make sure cybersecurity is a priority. Parents and staff are encouraged to take some action as well. If you see something, say something. Now, both are clearly disappointed by what happened, and that's why they're also telling students, if you see something that is just not right, alert your parents so they can then uh, alert the district themselves. We also want to say there are two statements you can head to our website from Pittsburgh Public as well as Trinity Area. The full statements are on KDKA.com. Reporting in Mount Washington, Lindsay Ward, KDKA News. Lindsay, thank you. Yeah, we will have those posted for you at KDKA.com. You can check them out there.